This is part six of the Spider-Man playthrough here. Um, we had just watched Craven release all the villains. We tried to stop him, couldn't. Don't know what he's going to do with them, kill them, recruit them, whatever. Um, hopefully we'll find out in this part here. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for the next few parts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you guys. We're in the middle of doing this crime right here. It's uh, It's been quite a while since I played, so... We might have to readjust here. Yeah, I I haven't I haven't played the game in like two or so weeks, so I am a little out of practice. Oh, get over. Probably shouldn't tell Ma about how close I got to an almost. Why can't I switch characters right now? Loading gas truck. Okay, can I switch to Peter now? I think we need to switch to Peter. Yeah. Go see. Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Oh, so gosh. I'm on my work front, too. I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader, some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. Oh, I guess we're gonna run this crime, too. See what Harry's been up to. Before we uh, do his main mission here. Oh, there's a photo op. Let's get that too. Sorry, crime people, you can wait. Is it these chess people? That should work for Robbie. Okay, now I'll do this crime. You know, I saw an old grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. There. That's enough fire for today. Um. I'm trying to remember how to use gadgets. It, like I said, it's been a minute. Figured out how to use gadgets. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Holy shit, brah. Man, that guy's kind of crazy. Holy shit, he does so much damage. Get my shit rocked right now. That, that guy's crazy though. Better put out the fires. Alright, where's the injured dude? The injured dude? Fires before they could hurt anyone inside. But that was close. All right, we're here. Let's let's uh, see what Peter does for his new job now. Yeah? Wow. I was wondering <coughs> <what this> was. <coughs> Quick 
what a break. That's fancy looking. That's Emily's tree. All right, I'm gonna go grab my dog's bed super quick while this plays. Actually, I'm gonna pause. I don't want to miss anything. I'm gonna grab my dog's bed because she is uh, laying on the floor. Real short intermission. Sorry, she's laying on the floor watching me play. She doesn't have a bed to lay on. I feel bad. I mean, there's obviously the bed behind me, but that one doesn't really count. She has her own bed. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was thinking a little less this, but my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? A far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him. Oh, he's he's joining. All right. God, I hate his face. I hate Peter's face so much. Seeing you boys together again. Right then. Have fun, man. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> oh man. So the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, uh, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. Just a little bit. Everything set up while I was still undergoing treatment. But when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. Okay. To heal the world. To heal the First, world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. <laughs> Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. The mechanical bees? Is that the, is that the a search? Third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, a carnivorous bee wolf. So we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? Oh, I'm gonna get to play a little game, huh? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killers. And you're helping with the machine learning wow. algorithm. Wow. You see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting them, the better our drones are at shooting them. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Uh, it sure as hell looks like it's killing them, dude. On duty. That is kind of how it feels, yeah. Hear that, little bee wolves? Where, you still get to pollinate another day too. Where's this last one at? Oh, they're all over there. Oh, nice! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. Oh, you got great data. Okay, then flying home. Run it into people. <laughs> That's neat. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real. You'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Hmm. Oh. Neat. I'd love to help any way I can. Are bee wolves real? I could take a look at juicing the neural networks, bee. Oh, yes, please. 
Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Well, yeah, I guess B-Wolves are real. Now up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work. Using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance we can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Doc, Dr. Connors is, is reptile. Connors. We've okay. actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. <laughs> Especially for you, because he's morning. missing an arm. Dizziness, aches, pains. Anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> no, nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. <laughs> nice to see you again. He must be like the check-in for the symbiote or something. Your doctor is a lizard. Oh, that believes in second chances. Oh, I guess we knew that. Listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. I guess I'll look around. Attention. The last coffee shop is closed. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. Uh, I guess I could spend time on your right. checking around everything or yeah, let's see what his research let's actually see is. What's going on here? Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. Not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. What about this bad boy, Peter? Tell me about What's this. Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? I wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Kind of looks like it, a little bit. The original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Huh. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. I mean, I'd hope so. Yeah. Yeah. What does Miles want? Whenever you're ready. Come oh, that's up. Harry, not Miles. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Particle accelerator? Wow, that sounds really cool. Really have a particle accelerator? I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but the changing in my cups is great. She seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. And middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Rebora Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, when you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. It's so calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Well, what does this have to do with anything we're talking about right now?
Talking to this homie. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Wait, would you like to see this test bed? Okay. I guess I don't have a choice. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal quality. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to only hex genes with matching size can be placed next this. to each other. Okay. So match yeah, the base pairs three. to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. You're just you're just matching the sides. It's kind of a really easy mini game. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. That one is going to go in the middle. Patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability Sun. and financial gain. So smart. Okay, that wasn't bad. Are these going to get challenging? I imagine. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Do I even need to Listen. I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. Okay, this it's one is specifically a tiny bit harder. Gardens. Of course. I don't want to move that one. I want to move this one here. Move this one there. Interesting. Move that one there. Move this one there. If I can move this one here, and then bam! Beautiful work, Peter. Got it. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow! I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. <coughs> Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Where are you going? Where Your are you office. going? Or is it our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet. Not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on. Where's your badge? Is this it? You'll need it to get in. Ooh, glass. <laughs> Harry's pretty confident we're going to take this job. Wow. With the picture too, man. That ain't cool. Harry, this is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just things are really hectic right now. <laughs> when I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. <coughs> if you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Damn, I kind of love their friendship. Come Very on. wholesome. Let's make my mom and Nate proud, huh? Very, very wholesome. It's amazing. You're just going to have to say no, though. There's one thing. 
Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> That's sweet. I like that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. Hey, we're going to Coney Island. Been hyped to see it. Hi, Josie. No? Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location. You, you can afford to try a new suit. Suit stuff. Let's check it out, baby. Suits. I think I'm actually going to wait until the very end to get the suits. Just because there are no... Um, there's, like, no real benefit to buying the suits anymore. It's not like uh, they don't have a suit power anymore, like in the first game, which is unfortunate. Gadgets, skills, seven are affordable. I remember I was using, I was fully upgrading this. That's a chance for free gadget shot. I like that. Okay. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was, I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's, it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Sorry, gonna have to call you back. Oh, sorry, Miles. Sorry. That's rude Be as right hell. Back. Rude as hell, Miles. My apologies, dude. I'll finish this up and then call you back. And then go do the Sandman thing, too. And then call you back again. Excited to have more boards. We partnered with your friends at Beast to Keep the Community. Starting by improving our garden. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Okay. I can do that. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. I'm not super sure what I'm looking for. Hmm. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. Holy shit, I jumped so high. God damn, dude. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. And I'm playing the little mini game. Making these GMOs open sourced. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Okay, so we need two of these guys. Do that. Do that. Let's see. Oh no, that's not right. We need to do. We need that. And then we can go hydrogen. Wait to see this grow. That bad boy. And this. It works. These plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Nice. Just imagine I did it. To do with all of that. Okay, need some great new hybrid seeds for them. 
Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Oh, I'm not done there? My bad. Probably need to pull on that valve. Yikes, gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Blocked by that cart. Yo. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Oh, I did not mean to throw that. That was uncalled for. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs. Oh, it's right there. Oh my, am I gonna have to aim this one? How did it say to aim? I think okay. this should do. Nice. Okay. Doctor Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Okay, then I'm gonna do the Sandman mission. Sorry, my let's pause again. This new foundation run by my best friend. It's sorry. Be right back. And the sandcastle competition starts now. And no cheating. You just had to make it hard, huh? Crystal. Let's crack a crystal, baby. So I tell the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Hmm. Marco was really laying low these past few years. Man, there really aren't that many of them. Help him if I'd known he was in trouble. I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But he said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Cultist is trying to brand someone. Hey, you, how about you point that thing towards me? Web strike a fuck ton of people, dude. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I don't even know what you get for the bonus objective. I guess we're gonna find out. Those flamethrower guys are brutal. Oh my god, that is so hard to die. Oh, you have to parry? Where at, baby? Where you at? Yeah, I didn't realize you couldn't dodge this. You have to parry it or dodge it. Alright, Miles. Drop in, baby. That's not bad. Okay. <clears throat> you really earned how cool that costume is. Okay. Um, 
Never mind. Let's hear what Miles has to say first. Everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Wait, how did I get there? How do I look at that? Okie dokie. Um, I think that is where we are going to end this episode. A little shorter. Um, so yeah, that's the end of part six. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and stay up to date for the new, uh, new parts that are going to be coming out. Thank you guys.